another technique that you can do on a nice gradual uphill or in a staircase in, in um, some cases is um, you can do a V2 jump, have a little hop in between. You always want to push your poles before you jump off, hands to the hips and then jump, hands to the hips and then jump. You can also do this with a V2 alternate. So you use the upswing to help get you over to this side. Use the second pulling motion, hands to the hip, and then jump. That's to the left side, now to the right. And on an uphill, I can zig zigzag my way up this hill. It gives you a lot of distance. And you can choose how much further, further up the hill I want to go. And you always want to go as far to the side as you can. It's going to increase your stride length and how much balance time you have, too. So to practice the V1 on an uphill in the summertime um, on a hill like this, you can easily jump, keep a, keep a distance with your heels so they don't impede on each other because you normally have ski tails that would cross over. And you want to jump up the hill as much as the side when you're doing this. So just put your hands in a V1 position. Um, you obviously have shorter poles, so your, your, your hands are going to plant a little closer to your body than normal. But the most important thing is getting your hands to go beyond your hips. And when you do that, then you can step on the other ski. Okay, so for skating, if you ever find yourself up a really steep hill and you're just too tired to be one anymore, there's, there's one technique that you can always fall into. We call it the granny skate. And a way to practice that in the summer is uh, to imagine having a log right in the middle of the hill and your feet are not allowed to go inside of it. So you want to plant your pole just before your foot as you're coming up. And it looks kind of like a gecko running in a hot desert, but you can practice that. So when the time comes, your muscles and your body's trained to do that technique.